What's up YouTube and all my tiny house friends out there. Thank you guys for visiting my channel. My name is Adam and today I have a real quick video uh, and I'm super excited because I just hooked up my off-grid water system, uh, rain collection system. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I hooked it up. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so you should know I have a hose on top of the house that's simulating rain. Now, all the rainwater collects in my rain gutter, comes down this three inch pipe, and I have a mesh screen, uh, aluminum mesh screen up in the top there that prevents uh, you know, leaves from getting in there and mainly prevents insects like mosquitoes from getting in and laying their eggs. So uh, this is my homemade rain diverter system. You can buy a product that costs way too much money, but I made this for about 50 bucks and all the dirty water that comes off the roof when it first rains because you have you know you got bird poop and you know whatever else in there that's making it nasty so that flushes down and starts filling up this pipe now as it fills up all the nasty dirty stuff collects in the bottom and I've got a cap on there that I can unscrew and release and let that stuff out but there's also a ball in there that floats and as that ball floats up it plugs right there it can't go any further and then all that clean water or cleaner water gets diverted down into the second flush pipe here which also has a cap down on the bottom of it that I can undo now as this cleaner water starts to fill up it still has like fine sediment and stuff in that that kind of stuff in it uh, particles sand so all the heavy stuff fills up at the bottom and then the clean water fills up blah 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 Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. and hopefully by the time it gets to this point really really clean water is coming out of there okay so clean water is coming into the white pipe and the white pipe is going into my water barrel system so I have 220 gallons here which should be enough for one person for quite a while comes into the first barrel and then under the barrels I have a manifold system which connects all of them together and you can see I've got some leaks I need to fix but uh, basically, those little screw caps there, what those do is they, they allow me to um, unscrew and separate the barrels in case I ever want to move the barrels individually, okay? So, all the barrels are filling up from the bottom. And you can see I've got quite a bit of water in there now. And once all the barrels are full, it overflows into this white pipe and this white pipe overflows away from the house. And I need to put another mesh uh, cap on there just to make sure that no uh, insects are getting in. And also this provides an air vent. So once this fills up, it overflows and you're good to go. And you have all your water access down here. So I've got this guy if I want to just clean my feet or wash my hands and you know maybe do a garden hose. And then it continues to a union so I can undo it. And then I have another valve, and then I have my SureFlow AC pump, and that just plugs into the wall right over there. I'm going to do another uh, review, or a review on this pump here once I have a better idea of how it works. And then over here is a little hose bib, so a hose will screw onto that. And then the other end of my hose. will screw right into there and then I'll have water and then the cold water will go up through that white hose into my hot water heater the hot water comes out back into the house as hot water and then this line goes down to the propane tank there's my hose at the moment that I'm going to use but right now it's making it rain <laughs> so I can't use it okay so uh, I just do want to mention, guys, one little uh, point to note is, you know, you might want to check your local authorities on whether or not collecting rain is actually legal. Uh, some areas it's not. You have to kind of check your, your, you know, city and state uh, municipalities. But, um, you know, what I suggest is don't break the law, but I also don't suggest paying for water if you don't have to. 
right? So if you're smart enough to collect rainwater, I think the rain belongs to all of us. So if you're smart enough to collect it and then use it wisely, then, you know, be my guest. So um, that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to learn how to build yourself an entire tiny house on wheels, I've written an ebook called How to Build Yourself a Tiny House Even If You're a Broke 25 Year Old. And it's posted on Kindle, uh, Amazon Kindle store. And uh, I'll put a link down in the description box down below. So go check that out. And right now, for the month of August 2017, it's $3, grand opening sale. So if you want to buy it for three bucks, go check it out. Uh, you'll get a lot of value from it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the book. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys later. Peace.